Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, well, let's take a look at the, the latest on satellite from Florence. It is a uh, formidable storm now. The eye is very prominent. It's a sharp eye, signifying that it's a stronger hurricane. And so uh, National Hurricane Center, they went out and investigated this, the hurricane hunters, and they found that the winds were uh, supportive of a Category 4 hurricane. So now the winds are 130 miles an hour, moving west at 13 miles an hour. It's a strong storm. It's a strong hurricane. 946 millibars. The pressure came down quite a bit. And that uh, tells you that, I mean, that there's strength there, unfortunately. And it looks like it's going to stay strong through its lifetime. It looks like it'll stay as a Category 4 hurricane. Could it become a Category 5? It's not out of the question. Very scary things we're talking about here. Now, as we get into Thursday, it's still expected to be a Category 4 hurricane. Now, this is the most likely path <clears throat> in here, the line. But at the same time, uh, that path, I think, is going to change a little bit. Uh, this cone... Uh, it goes basically from just west of Hatteras on down to South Carolina. And this would be Thursday for landfall, late Thursday evening. But it may meander around in this zone all the way through Saturday, maybe even Sunday. So that's where it gets a little tricky. Yeah, maybe it'll make landfall to our southwest, maybe. But some of the models also are trying to uh, focus a little bit more in here between Hatteras and Wilmington, I think, even a little bit east of where that most likely path is. So I don't want to rule out that it could possibly get close to Hatteras and just sit here for a long period of time. Look at some of these areas just kind of zigzagging around all the way through Sunday. So we could be talking about a big problem here, a long-term problem. Remember the nor'easter of 09, how it sat here for about four or five days? We could be talking about a scenario that's close to that. And remember how that turned out. So here's uh, some models, the European model. You know, if, if it follows that, okay, we would hit, see a lot better conditions here because it would be more towards Wilmington, move inland and weaken. But the GFS model, and this is an older version, by the way, it has it sitting here closer to shore for a while. The latest version has it sitting right here over Hatteras. I want to show you our version. This is Future Track. It agrees with the GFS. So as we go through time, this is into Thursday now, uh, late Thursday, early Friday. There's the center of it just to the southeast of Hatteras. Look at all that heavy rain, which would try and move inland a little bit. And then the center moves uh, just offshore. Now keep in mind, the winds would be coming in around this. And so they'd funnel right into Hampton Roads, right over the Outer Banks. You'd see a lot of tidal flooding out of this as well. So with the GFS in our version, uh, as a worst case scenario right now, winds of over 50 miles an hour in Hampton Roads at least, winds over 60 miles an hour at least in North Carolina, severe major flooding, tidal flooding, lots of rain flooding from the system. If it followed the European, well, not too much wind expected. The tidal flooding wouldn't be as bad and most of the rain would be farther inland. So National Hurricane Center, they're saying that, you know, the European model, it has kept its track over the past few runs, over the past few days, so they're a little more confident in that route. But I think what's going to happen is a blend of the two models, and it might move a little to our southwest, but then it may hook back this way and sit around for a while. We're going to have updates on this later today, and hopefully the models come together. Watch for those updates. Wavy News 10 at 4 p.m. We'll have a follow update with meteorologist Dietra Tate. Plan for the week. Weather will it deteriorate later this week. It's just how bad it's going to get. It's still in question. Update your kits. Prepare for possible flooding. Eastern Shore, I just got an email from someone. They said that uh, there's still really bad flooding out there. And, you know, this is before the hurricane even tries to head this way. Clean up your yard debris next couple of days. Evacuate if you're told to do so. And the models will hopefully agree by tonight. And hopefully we'll have a better idea what's really going to happen tomorrow. We can get some more detail as to maybe some of the effects tomorrow. It's still a little early, though. Things could change in that track. Stay tuned. All right, so for rain right now, a few showers over the uh, Outer Banks. There's nothing in Hampton Roads right now. We're looking good from Virginia Beach to Hampton to Suffolk, uh, but a few showers over mainland Dare County. We will get some showers in here later this afternoon. Future track calling for scattered showers between 3 and 6 p.m. Could see a couple of downpours out there, too. It's just so humid. And then overnight, spotty shower possible. But again, tomorrow, more scattered showers and storms, mainly in the afternoon and going into the evening. And that's not from anything tropical, just from our pop-up shower storms from all the humidity. Well, today, temperatures mid to upper 80s, hot and humid. We'll see winds out of the south 5 to 10 miles an hour. Minor tidal flooding, or rather nuisance tidal flooding this evening. Next couple of days, we'll see lesser rain chances until we get to Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That will depend heavily on the track of Florence, which could potentially bring us some, some rain and flooding rain. Stay tuned.